everybody, welcome to the Karen Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to give you a review of the Hulu original movie, Fresh. Now, I don't know if Sebastian Stan, if you don't know who Sebastian Stan is, aka the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, there you go. I don't know if that dude's got a deal with Hulu or something. Like, I know some people do. I know a lot of people do. I know, like, Ryan Coogler has a deal with Marvel and, and um, Hulu and Disney. I know fucking Taika has a big deal with them. So there are people I know who do have deals with them. But, like, he's been in Tom. Uh, I mean, Tom. <laughs> he's been in um, Pam and Pam and Tom. Was it Pam and Tom? I think it's Pam and Tom. Is it Pam and Tom or my, um... Or am I getting it wrong? No, hold on, hold on, I think I got, I think I got the title of that wrong. Hold on, I got all that. Uh, is it Tom, is it Pam and Tom or Tom and Pam? I, I just got to make sure I got this right, just to make sure. Yes, Pam and Tommy, yeah, okay, yeah. He's in Pam and Tommy playing, you know, Tommy Lee. And he's playing, and he, like, I reviewed that, like, the first couple episodes, and he's a completely different character in that. It's so weird seeing Sebastian staying in these different kinds of roles. I know he's been in other m movies before, and he's been, like, he's been in other things, many, many other things. But since he's been Bucky Barnes, a.k.a. the Winter Soldier, it's really how I see him. Or, or like, interviews, but he's, like, such a calm and cool, collected dude anyways in those interviews that it's like, yeah, yeah. That, like, it just kind of, like, him and the Winter Soldier, he kind of, like, you know... So, like, seeing him in that, and now seeing him in this movie Fresh, the dude, the dude, um, the dude's good. The dude's good. Like, I'm really impressed with the, his range of how he can go about these things, man. Like, he's really fucking good. So, the movie Fresh is, um, it's about this girl, this woman, who is having a hard time with her love life. Her love life sucks. She, she she's really introverted. She doesn't, like, she has, she has like, one friend she doesn't, like, she has a rough time just going on dates and opening up to anyone anyways. And, you know, she just got the worst luck when it comes to love. Until one day she runs, until one day she runs into Mr. Right, a.k.a. Sebastian Stan, in a grocery store. Side note, I, side note, they say that most people meet their lovers at work or in a grocery store. Kind of weird. I, like, I, I'm, I, I just thought that was an interesting, fun little tidbit to throw in there, which I'm like, I, I don't know if I've ever met some girl in the grocery store and then dated them later. Now, the work part, yeah, but the grocery store part, I'm like, okay. But either way, she meets him in the grocery store. They hit it off. Sebastian's got that, you know, awkward, that awkward, charming kind of Sebastian Stan charm to him, and he gets her number, and, you know, they, they're you know texting each other, and, you know, things look, 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 look a little hot. They meet up, they have drinks, they have a great time at this place. They make out, they go home, she she feels brave, she feels like she's into him and into him and they have sex and they wake up and it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing. And then he asks her, hey, you know, I, I'm really feeling you, you know what, let's go out, like let's go do something for the weekend. I, you know, I got this, I, I know a place we can go, like for the weekend, you know, let's go do something. And you know, she's so in on this, she's so into him and she's like, yeah, goes out there with him to a place. And that's where the movie turns. Admittedly, admittedly, I feel kind of bad reviewing this movie because I personally feel like if you don't know anything going into the movie, you will get, you will get more out of it. Because when the twist comes, when the turn happens, what you do see coming, I mean, you do see it, but like, it's more. I'm not going to like spoil too much of it, but when the twist comes, you're like, Whoa! Like, it's just, it goes south really, really fast. Turns out Mr. Right, a.k.a. Sebastian Stan, isn't exactly talking to her because he's in love with her. He's talking to her because he is a murderous cannibal. Yes! He is a murderous cannibal, and he lured her in, and now he's handcuffed her, and he's going to slowly devour her. Anything else other than that, that's what's in the trailer. It's going to be a spoiler. Um, but yeah, this movie, it, this movie has all the makings to be a cult classic. You know what I mean? I don't think everyone's going to love this movie, but it has all the makings to be one of those films that like when you're talking about slasher movies and you're talking about like, like thrillers or horror movies, like if you're like a real movie buff, you're going to be like, oh yeah, did you see Fresh? Like that's the kind of movie this felt like. It felt like when I was watching, I was like, this isn't going to be a mainstream hit, 
Well, this is gonna be one of those movies that if you're into thrillers, if you're into if you're into horror, you know, if it, you know, it's not like total horror, it's more of a thriller, like you know, like like um, I don't know, like 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 a, like a movie about like a Ted Bundy or serial killer kind of thing, you know. If you're into that, if you're into that genre. It, it, you're gonna probably end up loving this movie. Like, there's so many, like, I'm trying to think of movies that this movie is gonna be, like, in the same ball camp as. I can't remember, there was this movie about a guy whose hand turned evil and he had to chop it off and whatnot. Hilarious, ridiculous film. That movie's like, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be this cult classic that if you, re if you know, you know. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. And not everyone's gonna know about this movie. Not everyone, like, when if you if you watch my review and you get, like, you go go talking to somebody about it, they're not gonna know what the fuck you're talking about. That's the kind of movie this is going to be. And as a movie, I had a great time with it. I thought it was fun as hell. It was weird. It was fun. It was brutal. It's funny. It's dark funny. It's funny in a... <laughs> it's funny in that way where you're laughing, where you're like, I don't think I should be laughing, but I'm laughing. <laughs> it's funny in that way where you laugh and you're like, I feel terrible. I feel like an asshole for laughing. But like, there's stuff that happens in this movie that is just... It's just dark as fuck. Sebastian Stan is killing it as Steve. That's his character's name, Steve. Steve is cold, motherfucker. Like, he's it's clearly some screws loose. Like, I love how Sebastian Stan took... Like, it's almost he took an attribute from his real life and turned it and, like, amped it up to be creepy. Because Sebastian Stan, when you see him in interviews and stuff, he's a quiet, calm dude. And he has these, like, little jokes and whatnot. And, you know, he smiles. But, like, it's, you know, it's just like, you know, he's just, he's a nice guy. He's just a private guy. But he, taking those attributes and, like, turning him up and making it like he's doing that on steroids. Like, he's always smiling and he's always having a good time while he's murdering someone. And, you know, like, and there's a bit of, um, oh, fuck, what was, um, um, American Psycho. There's a bit of, um, God damn it, I always forget the character. It's been a long time since I've seen American Psycho. There's a bit of, um, bait, uh... Man, I, I I I can't remember his name, but there's a bit of that um that character from American Psycho in him. You know, like the whole like just the look on his face and the calming presence, the smile on his face, and the the way he goes about doing these callous, awful things without like without a single ounce of doubt or regret on his face. It, there's nothing there, and it's so interesting, and it's so like. Man, he does not, he really doesn't give fucks. Like, and it's not like a, I don't give fucks. It's a, it doesn't like compute with him that what he's doing is wrong or bad. And he, he kills it, dude. The woman, um, the girl, um, who the, who's the lead, she's good too. But Sebastian kills it, dude. Like, I was like, I walked out of this movie and I was like, damn, Sebastian, who knew you could play a creepy killer? Either way, I had a great time with Fresh. I walked away from that movie being like, this is a movie that, like, this is one of those movies that, like, if you have a friend and he's just like, hey, let's watch a movie together. Let's watch this. This is one of those movies I'm like, if I ever hang out with somebody and we're at my house or I'm at their house and they got Hulu, I'm going to be like, hey, you ever seen Fresh? And they're probably going to be like, no, I've never seen Fresh. Well, let me show you because this is a great movie. I watched it with my cousin and I don't watch anything with my cousin. My cousin was on the edge of his seat the whole time. Just like, what is happening? Because you really don't know how it's going to end until it ends. Like, you got guesses of how it's going to end, but you don't really know how it's going to end. Like, this could go a lot of different ways. But, you know, in the end, I end up enjoying the hell out of Fresh. I give it an 8 out of 10, man. I had a really good time with this movie. It was really fucked up and, and morbid and just kind of demented in certain things. Sebastian Stan taking so much glee and carving people up is just... I mean, there are so many moments in this movie. I'm not a mean guy, but there's a lot of mean moments <laughs> in this movie. Anyways, thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please leave me a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.